You're like, hey, you won't buy this? And you're just, but you're, you can't. The Amway Pyramid Scheme. Is it filled with overpriced products and monthly quotas that make it impossible for anyone to earn a living? Well, I'm going to cover that in today's comment review from an individual that left a comment on one of my videos. Link will be in the description below so you can check that video out. And without further ado, let's get right into what they said and I'm going to provide a reasonable response, provide the other side of the coin, because typically one of the coin sides is only presented and it's just like, mm, smacking your face and I'm just like, hey, there's the other side. Okay, so here we go. Uh, conceptually, obviously. Alright, so they said, man. Equation saying that we have products equals we are not pyramid scheme had already been proven wrong by FTC several times. Let's name it. Vima, Herbalife, Advocare, and others. You can run pyramid scheme, just replace the money with overpriced products and impose monthly quotas for each distributor. Also dismissing the argument about monthly quotas is not right, as monthly quotas is how majority of Amway works. In my country, Diamonds claims that rule number one for any newcomer is to make his monthly points. Otherwise, it does not make sense to make the person downline. All right, so what I'm going to say with the quotas, or it's called the minimum order quantity in other industries, is that allows you to get product for you to ideally offer to others as samples or sell to them on a retail basis or use yourself or and or use yourself and that is the purpose of these minimum order quantities or these amounts that are needed to qualify for commissions again these are to offer to others retail to make sure you have something to sample people with and to be a product of the product and use them yourself these are really important reasons these are logical reasons why these amounts are set now if somebody wants to debate the amount and if that's fair enough for those three reasons then that's going to come down to your value system and maybe how much money you have or how much you're willing to spend or what your budget is but at the end of the day it does make sense to have a minimum order quantities tons of industries already do that with regards to food service with regards to supplies transportation everything right and so this is going to be really important to keep in mind we can't just put on the blinders and say minimum order quantities are bad or you know sales quotas are bad for commissions you know like we we gotta look at the bigger picture and i think a lot of times people aren't doing that and that's what i'm here for is to provide the bigger picture and again if we want to talk about the amount of the minimum order quantity i think that's maybe where some of the value system of an individual could come in and there's maybe a little more gray area but having one makes sense if you're reasonable all right, so going back to the other point about having products, well, see, here's the thing. Having products that add value to your life because they're quality and then having money and exchanging that by educating people makes sense, and that's what makes something not a pyramid scheme. If you just have a business opportunity and you just have head counting people and you're just like, let me just get head count for money, that is illegal, especially when there's no product involved. And so that's the key. And you know, a lot of times people want to use this product based pyramid scheme or illegal product based pyramid scheme or da 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 da. Again, if the product is high quality, it adds value and you're exchanging it for money because you're teaching people the benefits and uses of it, then that's legitimate, that's legal, that's okay. Okay, just because it's a part of a, a network marketing business model, which is really, you could just say word of mouth marketing, which is the most effective way to market because people trust another person more than they trust a commercial of a company they've never seen before, or maybe they have seen before. The word of mouth is very powerful. You can research that. Research word of mouth marketing and how effective it is. It's way more effective than ads. That's why there's so many referral programs and affiliate programs outside of network marketing and MLMs. All right, so now we're going to continue here. They said Amway even started some cooperation with one economics university in exchange for money. And they are several diploma thesis where those who wrote about it and became Amway members found it bizarre that when they became members, they were forced to do their monthly points month after month. And the more money they spent, the more friendly their uplines were. 
All right, well, nobody forces you to do anything unless they have a gun to your head and a knife to your back, so that force term is a little strong. You have a choice in life when it comes to what you purchase. You can vote with your dollar, right? That's, that's the terminology around that, and that doesn't acknowledge the free will aspect that we all have based on the research that we do and the values that we have based on our upbringing or what we've learned. And so, you know, that whole personal responsibility aspect is almost always taken out of the discussion and it's more always somebody else's fault, right? Blaming and shaming, which is very unreasonable and that's not a mature way to look at things. And then that's just keeping it real, all right? So let's continue though because definitely giving constructive feedback in the comments that unreasonable people are not going to like. And then I get more comments and then that creates more videos, which I appreciate because then that helps me process what other people say and recognize that, hey, they're unreasonable, I'm trying to be reasonable, Let's have a discussion, not an argument that's heated and focus on anger. Let's have a discussion based on facts from both sides and we can acknowledge you know, where we can improve upon and go from there. They, then they go on to say, yes man, Amway operates a pyramid scheme and they know it well. I recently heard about some statistic that only around 15% or even less of Amway goods is sold out of the scheme, which means 85% of the goods is consumed by reps themselves. Imagine running a restaurant where you as the owner consume 85% of all the dinners. How ridiculous is that? How long would such a business run and how much money would you make? And some other person that's left a lot of comments has basically called this, you're, you're like a voluntary worker, right? You're a voluntary employee or you're a voluntary independent contractor. And they use the word voluntary because you don't make any money, but you're still kind of working for or with that company that you're you know that have products with and what I'll say is again they don't address the reasons why again why does this happen and then they're just like well and I'm just like yeah a lot of times people quit that's gonna be the number one reason why people don't see success financially the other reason has to do with what I call the, the five things here which is what are your skills Communication, sales, marketing, how are those looking? Can you rate them from a scale of one to 10, how you are? That's gonna determine a lot of your success or failure in a network marketing business or arguably any business. What, what is the amount of you know, goals that you have, right? Well, what goals do you have for rank or income? Do you have those written down and stated in the present tense so you can hopefully manifest that for yourself? What about your effort? How many hours per day, per week are you putting in on a consistent basis and actually doing it? Okay, I mean, cricket sounds, okay, yeah. Okay, what about the lead generation system? How are you talking to new people every day and engaging with the customers you already have, but more so engaging with new customers? Is it online, is it in person, is it at networking events, is it church, is it other things? And doing so in a way that's natural, non-pushy, not overly salesy, right? People can smell the sales breath a mile away. It's strong, it's like waking up and your breath is hot and you're just like, hey! You want to try these products? And you're just like, oh my goodness, I'm about to pass out. You know, so you don't want to do that, right? You want to educate, ideally, and do so when you hear things pop up and come up and ask for openness. It's more of a permission-based marketing system that goes more into training. That's outside of what I'm talking about. And the last thing is the quality and quantity of your network. So that, that kind of ties into the lead generation strategy, right? How are new leads coming in, but the quantity and quality of your existing network is going to be important. You know, that includes your phone contacts, your email lists, um, your Facebook friends, your current customer base of another business. And again, you're not just being like, hey, you won't buy this, you're just, but you're getting to know people, right? You're, you're, you know, giving opportunities for them to learn more, and that's a more natural way to do things. Now, am I a part of this network marketing company? No, but am I an advocate? for doing network marketing in a way that builds value and really pre-qualifies people to see if they're interested in learning more? Yes, I am, I am. That's why I do these videos because I think it's so important for both sides, the anti-MLM and the pro-MLM and the neutral people who are, you know, neither, to gain that perspective because perspective is key. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button if you did. Share this video with somebody that would benefit from it. And most importantly, check out the links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on and watch this original video. And there you go. And I'll see you in the next video.